This Showtime dramedy will never be the same without Emmy Rossum. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best Fiona Gallagher moments. I can't believe I actually said it out loud. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at Fiona's defining moments from the first nine seasons of Shameless. In case you're not caught up, keep in mind there will be spoilers. Number 10. When she visits Ian in prison With season 9 confirmed as her last, it was only right that the headstrong matriarch of the Gallagher clan be given the opportunity to tie up some loose ends. And I'm thinking maybe it's time for me to go. Go. Leave. Move someplace else. One of the most poignant moments of Fiona's final episode was her prison sit-down with Ian. After filling him in on the happenings of Frank, Lip, and the others, Fiona informs Ian that she is leaving to start a new life someplace else. You should go. What? You should get the f out. You deserve it. You should go as far away as you can. With a wealth of shared history between them, Fiona is taken aback by Ian's response, who tells her to leave because she deserves to. It's an extremely touching moment between two of our favorite characters, wrapped up beautifully when Ian spots Fiona's plane taking off at the end of the episode. Go. Go as far away from here as you can, and don't ever look back, okay? I'll always be here for you. Always. Number 9. Saying goodbye to the house Bidding adieu to the home you grew up in is never easy. That goes double for the Gallagher abode, which played host to so many crazy and life-altering events we don't have time to list them all. We're locking up the house. Can you give me a minute first? In season 6, the house was put up for public auction, much to the dismay of Fiona and company. Watching Fiona walk through her former home, which has been stripped bare of everything that made it a home, is heartbreaking. For our money, the hardest part to stomach comes when she touches the closet door bearing the heights of all the Gallagher children over the years. The home would be back in their possession soon enough, but this scene remains one of Fiona's most iconic. Number 8. When she testified against Frank Perpetually in a state of disarray, things were particularly dire for the Gallagher family in the middle of season 3. She forces us to make jewelry? Oh um, no, you don't have to. Not if you're not hungry. A visit from Child Protective Services led to the children being taken away and culminated in a court battle between Frank and Fiona over who should retain custody. And Ms. Gallagher has filed a petition to terminate the father's parental rights. Yes, Your Honor. Are you prepared to assume custody? I am. I can provide a stable environment for the kids, something that has been sorely lacking with our father. Fiona delivered an impassioned plea to the judge and recounted a traumatic moment in which she was forced to take care of Lip and Ian when she was just six years old. Because Frank was off, well, being Frank. My mother's bipolar, and my father's an alcoholic and an addict. He takes what he pleases and he offers nothing. Few moments makes us feel for Fiona's lifelong plight quite like this one. I'm not asking for your pity. Or your admiration. I just want to be able to give these kids everything that they deserve because they're great kids and they deserve better. Number 7. When She Was Right In the season 7 finale, the Gallaghers were shocked to discover that Monica had left them an inheritance. However, in true shameless fashion, that inheritance was $70,000 worth of meth. Your inheritance. Despite her pleas, Lip, Ian, Debbie, and Carl decide to sell it, becoming straight-up meth dealers in the process. This is not lost on Fiona, who lambastes her siblings when they run into problems with their newfound meth business. Watching her scold them is incredibly satisfying, particularly if you've ever had to do the same with your own siblings. I was super right. I am the one who saw to your survival since you were babies. I am the only reason that you are still breathing and have limbs intact." With a military-esque drumroll playing in the background, Fiona makes each sibling admit that she was right and they were wrong. Emmy Rossum owns this scene from start to finish. You were right and I was wrong. Fiona. Number 6. When she punched the racist neighbor 
Fiona never shies away from a fight. So when a neighbor called the police on Liam for setting up a lemonade stand in front of her house, she was more than a little upset. Lemonade! Get your fresh lemonade! Her anger stemmed from the belief that the neighbor only called the cops because Liam was black. In response, Fiona organized a block party in front of the woman's home. You know that new bitch over on Bundy? Yeah, she pulled some racist shit on my brother Liam. However, seeing as she was fired earlier in the day, Fiona wasn't exactly in the best frame of mind. Perhaps that's why she leapt over the fence and decked the neighbor in the face. Even as the cops take her away, Fiona's smile tells us that in her mind, justice has been served. Shit! <laughs> Number 5. When she cleaned up Monica's blood In a rare moment of family harmony, Frank, Monica, Fiona, and the rest of the Gallagher clan sat down for the Thanksgiving dinner together in the Season 2 episode, just like the Pilgrims intended. However, it comes to a horrifying halt when Monica is found covered in blood in the kitchen, having attempted to kill herself. When everyone returns home the following episode, Monica's blood is still all over the kitchen. As she starts cleaning up, Fiona can't help but let her emotions show. It's not enough that she has to deal with the original situation, she must also be there to clean up the aftermath. We can think of no better way to show the never-ending cycle of abuse Fiona is forced to endure. Jesus. These poor kids. Don't worry, they're already pretty up. Number 4. When she realized she'd become like Frank Season 9 was a tough one for Fiona. She lost her boyfriend, her money, and her one business opportunity. A little early for a drink, isn't it? All right, Mom. I'm gonna turn in. This caused her to enter a downward spiral filled with booze-filled nights and bad decisions. One of which was when she got Jason, the alcoholic lip was sponsoring drunk, ending his 100 days of sobriety. You just got my sponsee f drunk. He didn't say he was your. 100 days! He was sober! Lip tears into Fiona, who is apathetic about the situation. It isn't until Frank stumbles in that Fiona realizes she's no better than her deadbeat father, using alcohol to escape her situation, regardless of how it affects those around her. I know when he left you, he called his dealer and he shot up heroin. <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't know. The look on Fiona's face as she comes to this realization is devastating and a testament to Rossum's acting skill. Number 3. When she lost sight of Liam and he overdosed Five seasons later and this one is still hard to watch. During a party at the Gallagher house, cocaine is left unattended on the kitchen counter. Drunk, high, and distracted, Fiona fails to notice when Liam enters the kitchen and gets a hold of the dangerous narcotic. He's discovered shortly thereafter unconscious having snorted an unknown amount. Somebody's gonna get to keep their job. Oh, no shit, that's great. Mm -hmm. Fiona! Oh my god. What? Oh, shit. What's on his oh face? My oh my god, oh my god. As Fiona shouts, oh my god, over and over, her voice shakes as she becomes increasingly aware of what just occurred on her watch. Rossum's performance in this scene is truly incredible, expertly conveying Fiona's fear with little to no dialogue. Number 2. When she found out about the squirrel fund Fiona is constantly trying to make the best of a bad situation, but often gets the short end of the stick. This was never more apparent than in the Season 2 episode, A Great Cause. She tried to get Ian to enlist! She what? What did you think was gonna happen, Fiona? I thought it might be different this time. After wrongfully believing that Monica has changed for the better, Fiona finds out that she spent the family's squirrel fund and got herself arrested. So you know Monica spent all the squirrel fund money? You know what, I wouldn't have even had the cash to bail her out if I didn't return a bunch of dolls I found in Debbie's room. The first rule you learn in this house, you hide the goddamn money. Fiona tearfully confronts her mother, although the latter is unresponsive. The sheer heartbreak in Fiona's voice as she screams at her deadbeat mother says it all. Promise me. Get out of bed. However, after taking her emotions out on the washing machine, she rolls up her sleeves and gets to work, proving that while life may not be fair, that's not an excuse to give up. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I took out a mortgage on my house, and 
and you just dumped on it like it was nothing. I'm sorry. You're sorry. <sighs> Fiona. I got this, Patty. Patty? You, s you said Patty was your mother. I'm his wife. Is that true? Oh, he's a junkie through and through, your husband-to-be. I came here to be nice, but forget it now. F you. Don't eat me. F asshole. F Off to steal another f purse. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Vodka. Number one, when she confronted Monica. Fiona and Monica rarely saw eye to eye. In fact, when she died, all Fiona cared about was keeping costs to a minimum. Unless you offer something for narcissistic hedonists, let's focus on fast and cheap. Near the end of season one, Monica returns, hoping that she'll be able to convince the rest of the family to let Liam live with her. In response, Fiona verbally decimates her mother with the one thing she can't argue with, the truth. You don't get to abandon your kids and then show up one day to take your pick of the litter. The truth being that she raised her siblings, not Monica. Fiona is the one who helps them with school and pays the bills. And you know what? They did it all. No thanks to you because you weren't here. Most importantly, she's the one who's there for them when they need help. The scene set the bar high for Fiona and Emmy Rossum, both of whom continue to impress with each passing season. I'm here now and Liam belongs with me. He doesn't even know who you are! I'm his mother! You are my mother, too! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.